Okay, here we're going to replace a keyboard on a Lenovo T450. Okay, so first of all, take the battery off. Okay, and these two little dobbly bits here are the things you have to remove. Now, don't try and remove them there and there. Don't try and remove them from the back. The best way to remove them is to do them from the front. Okay, so from the front, okay, in between here, you've got two little gaps. See these little gaps here? Okay, what you have to do is if you just lift up a little bit, okay, and then push, just slightly push down, you can actually see the, the plastic fins down there. Okay, and you'll see underneath, that, that, see that? That it comes off. Okay, and then you do the same with the other one, just slightly lift it up. Put the flat side of the screwdriver in there and push down without breaking that, and you'll just find that it just pushes them out. Okay, now that's very important, those don't lose those. Now, and now it's a simple there's two little knobbly bits here one there and one there. So you put the flat part of the screwdriver in there and just push it up and push it up. And this will show you on the top, you could probably see it better. You can see this one now, one now, one now, one now, one now, and one now. Okay, basically with the other end of the screwdriver, Phillips, very tiny, just unscrew these until you hear a click. And that. Okay, you can hear the click there. Once you've unscrewed those, you can just slowly lift this up and then pull towards you. So slowly lift it up and pull towards the mouse pad. Now don't lift it all the way up because you've got cables behind here. You will see here there's cables. Okay, so here you've got this plastic bit that, well this one's broken but it don't, it's usually got a little slit in there. And now what you do is you have to lift up, can you see here? Just have to lift up that slowly, like that. You can do it with your thumb now if you want. And then that pulls out, but don't pull it off yet. There's another one, there's two. That's for the mouse. Same again, and that pulls out. And that is cable. And then to put the new one back, it's exactly the same. So you go like that, push that in, make sure that's in, and then push that down. It's only for spillages. And once again, from the front, you push it just underneath there. You see that? See, that's where the little bobbly bits were on the back. So if you just push those in like that, and then put it down, you'll see the screws. You'll see the screws again, and, uh, and then the screw back in. Screw those back in once that's done. Once they're in, just do the reverse of before. Bring these little doubly bits down to bring the keyboard back into place. Uh, sometimes you may find these pop up. And just pop everything and then bring it down. Yeah. Now you got the keyboard back, turn it over again, pop these back in to stop it from falling out. Okay. That's it. Put the battery back in and voila. New cable.